It's day three of the war in Gaza after the biggest attack in decades shocked the nation to its core. The death toll from the violence since Hamas's surprise attack on Saturday morning having surpassed more than 1,100. The Israeli death toll has now risen to at least 700, including 44 soldiers and 260 mainly young people ambushed at a music festival. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warning the war will be long and difficult. In Gaza, which is currently being pummeled by Israeli airstrikes, Palestinian officials have reported at least 490 deaths. Now, a recap as to where we stand this Monday. Israeli military says fighting is ongoing in seven or eight areas, including one active hostage situation in Kibbutz Kfar Aza. Hamas militants are reportedly still entering Israel or crossing back and forth with the border yet to be secured. The fate of an estimated 130 Israeli hostages, some of them dual nationals, are still unknown. And media reports now say that Iran helped Hamas plan its surprise attack against Israel. Let's cross now to Jerusalem to speak to France 24's Iris Makla. Iris, what do we know about the ongoing fighting between Israeli troops and Hamas militants in the south of the country? It is ongoing. You know, it's now more than 48 hours after the initial attack and we have learnt that there have been several more crossings. Uh, 70 um, Palestinian militants were meant, uh, reported, to have entered the south of Israel from Gaza overnight. Israel says that it has neutralised in its words, in other words, killed uh, most of them, but it does concede that there are six sites where there are still uh, Palestinian militants, either cells or in fact lone gunmen uh, there, and two potential hostage situations being reported, that is hostage situations inside Israel, one in a kibbutz Kfar Aza, one in a town Sterot, uh, and those are being reported in the Israeli media at the moment. Within all of that to say, all of that to say, that, that this situation is so fluid and so um, and, and as yet ongoing and Israeli plans to clear all the civilians out of the south of the country before any ground war could be um, anticipated or begun, that those are, are, are taking some time taking some time to be able to get into place. Now, with an estimated 130 Israelis, some of whom are dual nationals, being held as hostage in Gaza, what military options do the Israelis actually have? They have two sets of military options and, and each complicates the other. They can simply go ahead. Let's say they clear all the uh, militants out of the south of the country. They block the holes in the fence. They are also investigating a tunnel, by the way, into Kfar Aza, into that kibbutz where there is currently fighting. Uh, so if they clear all of that and they can secure the south of the country, can they simply go in um, as if there were no hostages there? Do they first have to do a hostage deal? It is being reported in some media outlets that there are um, that, that there are suggestions that this is already begun, one from Qatar, one from Egypt. But Israel denies that. So I don't, I don't know what the, situ the status of those reports are. But if they get the dual nationals out at any rate, or the men and leave the men and get the women and the children and the old people out. Do they, does Israel then go ahead with a full-scale battle? Is there a danger, which has been discussed openly here, that what we will could possibly see is some of those hostages being taken out and shot, you know, hour by hour? That that is also that they could be used in that sense. They are really literally hostages. Um, and then, of course. There is the ongoing, as we see, ongoing intensive airstrikes. There's artillery strikes from inside Israel into the Gaza Strip. There's naval strikes from the water into the Gaza Strip. If there's a ground offensive as well, what happens to those people? What happens to all the Palestinians, the ordinary civilians? Where do they go? You know, it's, it's locked. It's locked on the Israeli side, except for the holes in the border fence now. Will it remain locked on the... On, the Egyptian side if there's a full-scale ground invasion. All those questions still to be answered, but there's no doubt that the fact that there are uh, 130 reported hostages held inside the Gaza Strip complicates all this enormously from an Israeli military point of view.